Yeah. Uh, dozens of dogs are rescued from a home, and tonight the shelter that's caring for them is overwhelmed. Yeah, it's the worst hoarding situation the Warren County Humane Association has dealt with, and Local 12's Alexa Helwig shows us what is next for all these dogs. It's a setting Joanne Hurley thought she'd never see. 111 poodles all in one home. And because we weren't able to go into the house, we had really no clue. And they just kept coming and coming. She took us inside the shelter today where the dogs seemed to be in pretty good spirit, but with matted fur and the need for medical attention, a lot of tender love and care will be necessary before they can go up for adoption. They are more grooming nightmares, um, a lot of skin infection, a lot of fleas, things like that. So we're not even positive what all we're dealing with now. The circumstance surrounding this extreme hoarding situation is unclear, but it was reported to the county dog ward yesterday. With so many new dogs, the shelter will be closed today and tomorrow so they can triage the poodles. They even brought in students from the Warren County Career Center to help groom them. Uh, they're just really passionate about it. So like their passion just shows through in their excitement. I mean, they're not happy that this is happening to the dogs, but I think they're happy to get to help. But it takes time. The students could only groom about 20 of the dogs today. Our calling sleep, aren't you? Outside the shelter, the community is showing their support. We caught up with Jeff Tilford, who was dropping off extra dog food he had sitting at home. I'm sure it's uh, it's it's going to cost a lot of money to get 111 dogs back to good health. Hopefully they get adopted soon, and hopefully the food that uh, we donated uh, helps feed them for a few days anyway. The shelter said the woman voluntarily gave up the poodles and no charges will be filed. And it's a good lesson for anyone in a similar situation. Reach out. We're here to help. We're not here to judge. In Lebanon, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Uh, it, it just breaks your heart. I know, Joanne, I got my dog possibly from a similar situation there in a hoarding situation, we think. And... If you can help, do. Um, there is a link to donate in the stories that Alexa has already written at local12.com, also on our Facebook page.